Hi, I'm Konstantinos. Together with Toby Springerberg, we have been leading the robotic manipulation effort here at DeepMind. At DeepMind, our mission is to help solve intelligence, and one way we do that is by developing ever more general and capable agents. On the robotics team, we believe that embodiment will be part of that solution, and that artificial learning systems that use motor control to interact with our physical world will have enormous impact. As humans, we learn intelligent behavior by exploring what's possible with our bodies early on in life. For example, we develop general manipulation skills during childhood, when we build structures using toys. In the robotic manipulation effort, we explore how robots can learn to display similarly general skills. Tasks involving interaction with diverse objects, for example, the construction of simple structures, require skills that involve control strategies that are quite complex. As a step towards tackling such tasks, we studied stacking of diverse objects in the real world in a general and principled way. We introduce RGB stacking, a new benchmark for vision-based robotic manipulation. What differentiates our work from prior vision-based robotic stacking efforts are two primary characteristics. Firstly, the large diversity of shapes in our benchmark and the complex object dynamics that this elicit. And secondly, the extensive real robot evaluations we have done to validate our findings. Our task is fairly simple to describe. We have a parallel gripper on top of a basket, and in the basket we have three objects, one red, one green, and one blue, hence the name RGB. The task is always to stack the red object on top of the blue one within 20 seconds, while ignoring the green one, which serves as an obstacle and a distractor during the task. From our more than 150 objects, we have selected five RGB triplets for all our real robot evaluations in order to keep them focused and tractable. These five triplets pose different challenges and levels of difficulty. For triplet one, the main challenge is grasping the top object, the red one, along the flat sides, because grasping on the slanted sides will fail. The bottom object, the blue one, also provides difficulty as it has a limited stacking surface and can easily roll. Triplet 2 is maybe the hardest, because the bottom object sometimes needs to be flipped to expose a flat surface. In order to do this with a Ford-off robotic arm and a parallel gripper, the agent needs to use the top red object as a tool with which to flip the bottom blue object. The challenge with triplet 3 is to have a secure central grasp for the elongated object and balance it on top of the slanted bottom object. Triplet 4 has rectangular prisms for both red and blue objects. The challenge is primarily to align their centroids, required for a stack to be considered successful. In this fifth triplet, the top object can easily roll off the bottom object as it has a large number of faces and is nearly cylindrical. We have defined two versions of our task. In the first version, our goal is to learn a single agent that can master stacking all these five triplets. So in this case, the training and test objects are the same. In the second version, we focus on evaluating skill generalization. So although we use the same five triplets for evaluation, these objects, along with their neighbors in their shape parameter space, are held out during training, which now uses more than a million possible triplets. We approach the problem using a learning pipeline that's split into three separate stages. In the first stage, we focus on training a policy in simulation using an off-the-shelf RL algorithm. We used MPO for this. For fast training, we allow the agent to have privileged information available only in simulation, like the position and pose of the objects. As a consequence, the resulting policy is not directly transferable to the robot. In a second stage, we train a new policy in a domain randomized simulated environment that uses only observations that can also be used in the real world, such as images that come from cameras around the basket. We do this by executing the policy on the environment and by curing the policy from stage one for corrections to its behavior. Those corrections are then distilled into this new policy. Finally, we collect data using this new sim to real policy on the robot and retrain the same policy based on this data, 
simply by filtering good transitions using a learned queue function. This decoupling in our pipeline was crucial for two main reasons. Firstly, it allowed us to solve the tasks at all, which would have simply taken too long had we trained on the robots directly. Secondly, it massively increased our research velocity, as different members of our team were able to work on different parts of this pipeline, and we could easily combine these changes to get an overall improvement. Let's have a look at the videos of the best mastery policy that we've trained. As you can see here, it has no trouble finding the right grasp for triplet 1 and stacking the objects. For triplet 2, the policy has managed to learn to use the red object as a tool with which to flip the blue object in order to achieve a stable stack. For the other groups, an efficient stacking policy has been learned that is also robust to human interventions, as you can see in the video for triplet 3, for example. This agent achieves a task success of 82% on the skill mastery task. Our best agent on the generalization task achieves 54%. Of course, the generalization numbers we achieved are worse than the mastery numbers, and closing the gap is an open challenge. We hope that this work encourages the robotics community to further study, in a general and principled way, manipulation that includes diverse objects interacting with each other, and we specifically look forward to seeing future work that excels on the tough generalization task we have proposed. Thank you.